Hi, I'm Mary from Mary Mary Stories and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this uh, lacy um, shawl or wrap that you can wear in uh, three ways. One way is to put the nose to the back uh, or uh, the contrary, put the nose to the front and so the back is a, a simple shawl or uh, put the nose the corner uh, onto one of our hands let's go and see how to crochet this beautiful shawl you will need a um, g6 uh, in us or four millimeter crochet hook and a sport weight yarn i have used katya brisa which is a 60% cotton and 40% rayon uh, yarn uh, of uh, 50 uh, grams and i have uh, i need have, have used approximately 650 meters uh, of this yarn I will chain a small sample now of uh, 33 chains. You need a multiple of 8 plus 1 uh, chain to start this uh, project. So I'm chaining now 33, but for the real uh, shawl I have chained 193 chains. Um, all you need is to make a first row of single crochets and we need a multiple of eight for this uh, for the cr the single crochet number so um, single crochet in second chain from your hook and you are going to single crochet uh, all uh, across this uh, foundation row uh, foundation chain so you are going to single crochet in each chain to the end after you have chained your last single crochet turn and get ready to work uh, row two this row one this first row one was a, a foundation uh, row so chain two and skip one two three four and go to the fifth uh, stitch and we're going to be working there a big cluster that is one triple crochet to do this you have to yarn over twice uh, and chain one we're going to do it this five times so uh, so yarn over twice insert the hook in the stitch uh, yarn over and pull through two loops again yarn over and pull through two loops uh, you are going to make three movements in order to uh, complete a triple crochet and chain one in between so a big cluster is uh, made out of five triple crochets with chain, in, uh, chain one in between and chain one right after a triple crochet we have made four now we're going to make one more then skip next three chains and uh, stitches and into the um, fourth work a single crochet One, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet and chain one. Don't forget to chain one after a, a single crochet. Again, skip three stitches and into the next stitch work a big cluster. This is um, the repeat for this row. Uh, triple crochet, chain one, triple crochet, chain one one third time a triple crochet now so we are going to be making big clusters and uh, single crochets in between uh, single cr um, triple crochet and chain one we have made three again 
a new triple crochet this is the fourth and chain one and the fifth triple crochet and don't forget to chain one after uh, each triple crochet which I'm going to do right now so chain one uh, skip the next three stitches and into that fourth work a single crochet and chain one again skip next three stitches and into that fourth work a big cluster we are going to work now again a big cluster so triple crochet chain one triple crochet all in same stitch chain one yarn over twice and pull up every time two loops two loops and, and again two loops and chain one We have made four triple crochets, so one more. And chain one and skip next three stitches and work a single crochet into chain one, the one we have left unworked as we have worked in second chain from our uh, foundation chain. This is the end of row 2 and now we are turning and we are ready to work row 3. So chain 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we are going to place a marker a marker into the third chain out of the four we have just chained and uh, now it's a very easy thing we're going to work a single crochet into the chain one space the one between the first and the second triple crochet then chain three work a single crochet into the loop of the third triple crochet it's the middle one of the big cluster this time we are going to work into the triple crochet loop again chain 3 and single crochet into the last chain 1 space between 4th and 5th um, triple crochets of the big cluster in between we are going to, chain, to be chaining 2 and this way we are going to create some uh, holes where in the next row we are going to work big clusters. Again skip uh, everything until you reach the first chain one space of next big cluster. There you are going to single crochet. Then chain 3, single crochet in the third uh, triple crochet of previous row. I'm going to do it again I'm opening so you can see clearly where to put this single crochet and again chain 3 and go find the space the chain 1 space between two last triple crochets and single crochet there and chain 2 this is our bridge in order to go to next cluster and work single crochet in first chain one space then chain three single crochet again in the middle uh, triple crochet chain three and again single crochet now 
now we are working on our last uh, big cluster so single crochet chain 3 single crochet in the middle uh, triple crochet of previous row count 1 to 3 it's the third one and chain 3 again in order to uh, sort of wrap the cluster then single crochet in last chain 1 space we are going now to chain 1 and work a triple crochet into the first out of the uh, chain 2 beginning chain of previous row this is chain 1 so there we are going to insert our hook so yarn over twice find this first chain and work a triple crochet this was our uh, third row and now we're going to turn and start working row four to start work uh, working row four chain four this is equal to one triple crochet and mark the third chain and we're going to work in this very first stitch at the base of our chaining a triple crochet chain one and one more triple crochet all in the same stitch the very first stitch of this row and don't forget to chain one after each triple crochet and this row is an easy row we are going to be working in the central single crochet a single crochet as well and chain one after the single crochet and now we are going to find our valley let's say is the chain to space in every chain to space uh, we are going to be writing big clusters this is uh, a space between uh, clusters so triple crochet and chain one uh, five times all in this chain two space who stands a little bit lower so this makes our pattern uh, like a wave we have made three triple crochets chain one and again triple crochet and then I'm just showing you how it looks the pattern our piece till now and I'm showing you the chain two spaces don't forget to chain one after your last triple crochet then you can uh, pull and find this uh, single crochet of previous row and there you have two single crochet as well then chain one and very very easily you are going to find next chain to space and work a big cluster there this is what we have to do till the end of the row you can take your coffee or your tea and um, relax taking um, an idea of what the pattern is first and then try to do it i always take a look of uh, a new video and then I try to do this uh, the pattern this is just as small as advice and uh, 
it's for me maybe not for all people this is a, a four row repeat pattern and basically um, it's a two row repeat pattern it's just that uh, in some um, rows we have to uh, start and end the row in a different way what we're doing in between is the same thing on one row we are working uh, single crochets and uh, big clusters and on the other row we are working um, only single crochets and chain uh, chain three or chain two in between and in a way we are uh, go around all around the clusters of previous row so it, i think you are going to understand the pattern after a while and it's not going to be uh, difficult you uh, will watch how uh, which way you are going to start uh, your row now we are working the last single crochet in the central single crochet of previous row chain one don't forget to chain one and there we have put a marker we are going to be working triple crochet it's the third stitch out of the chain four of previous row and we are working let's say a small cluster this is triple crochet chain one triple crochet again in same chain chain one and again a last triple crochet this is how we end the row and we have started the same way uh, working a small cluster of three triple crochets at the beginning of this row and this is the way we have ended row four and we are going to be working now row five so turn and patiently work chain four We have chained four and we're going to work a single crochet into that small cluster of previous row let's mark first uh, the first chain out of the chain um, four and then find the chain one space the second not the first that stands uh, right below your hook so this is the second hole let's say there you are going to be working a single crochet then chain two we are creating these valley holes for uh, the next row and we are going to be working in the first chain one space a single crochet the same as two rows before chain three remember uh, work a single crochet into the that middle uh, triple crochet chain three single crochet into last chain one space between fourth and fifth triple crochet then chain two this is our bridge to go to next cluster again and repeat the same thing single crochet in first chain one space chain three single crochet and again chain three single crochet again in last chain one space chain two This is row five. And we are working on our last uh, big cluster. Single crochet, chain three. 
So we are creating uh, these holes in the valleys. And chain three again, single crochet, chain two, and we have come to the end. Work a single crochet in first chain one space of the small cluster, chain two now, and single crochet in the marked stitch which is the third chain out of the four we have chained in the beginning of previous row. It's a very nice idea to mark this uh, stitch so you don't have to count. This was uh, row five and this was our main pattern but I'm going to uh, repeat row six, work row six so chain two, now it's a very easy uh, row to work as we have to uh, skip everything until the first chain two space and work there a big cluster. So find the first chain two space. In this row, which is a repetition of row two, but I'm working so you can see this row as it is uh, in the real pattern because row 2 um, is worked on the single crochet row or the foundation row we have made and this uh, we're not going to um, repeat anymore so in this sixth row we're going to be working big clusters in chain 2 spaces I need one more. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, that's all. And chain one after last triple crochet. And we're going to be working single crochet in single crochet previous row. You can see the single crochet right there. So single crochet in the central, single crochet of previous row, chain one, and then skip everything until you find the next chain to space. This is what you are going to repeat till the end. At the end, after your last uh, big cluster, chain one and single crochet at the first marked chain, the first out of the chain five of the beginning of previous row. And we are going to repeat rows um, 3, 4, 5 and 6 alternatively uh, to the end uh, of this show. I hope um, you, you will find it easy. It's a beautiful lace pattern and I love um, working these uh, sort of uh, patterns in um, uh, some shiny uh, yarns and uh, I can wear this um, on a beautiful day for some special occasion. This is what the pattern looks like now. Big waves are shaped. I'm going to show you in the real shawl uh, how it looks. To find out where you are, you have to uh, to see your last row um, and find out which row it is. And this row that I'm uh, looking at now is um, the single crochet row which uh, wraps, let's say, uh, the clusters. So. Uh, I'm going to start now with a big cluster row and because the, uh, I'm going to make this I'm going to chain two and find the first chain two space. You see since there is a chain two space 
too close to me at the beginning point, I had to chain two and start working big clusters at, uh, into the chain two spaces. You are going to figure out uh, the pattern. There is um, a row uh, four, which is the same style row as six, uh, but starts in a different way. Starts with a small cluster and ends with a small cluster. And uh, it, it happens because, this happens because the wave is a little bit um in a longer space than in this row if you see the diagram that i have uh, attached to my pdf then you are going to get an idea of uh, the pattern repetition these are the two chain two spaces and the single crochet that it's a little bit uh, hidden in between so chain one I'm just working a little bit in the real shawl so you can see the whole pattern how it looks. These are chain two spaces and in between the single crochets and there were working single crochets. When the shawl is finished and we have a length of around 40 centimeters or uh, 16 inches 16 or 17 inches then we're going to uh, put the shawl flat on the table and we're going to take the upper corner left corner and fold it this way so uh, the corner the da corner in B um, point on my sketch is wrapped beautifully and if we pull it a little bit, let's do it again to get an idea. I find this corner and fold it in the right way so the corner is okay. And if I um, stretch it a little bit, I can see this is a vertical line in front of me. So I'm going to take the other part of my shawl and bring it together with this folded piece and starting uh, starting from the bottom I'm going to attach this to the folded piece so I have to take an equal uh, part as my right side of the shawl I have to take an equal part of the folded piece and uh, seam together the two sides. If I do it, a big opening stays at the upper place and this is my open neckline. So thread the needle with the same yarn as your working yarn. If you don't want to put it on the shawl, just fold it this way and Take the other side and just uh, put the two sides together, taking an equal part from the left side and start uh, seaming the two sides together. So take a needle and thread it with the yarn. and start from the bottom or from the top it's the same thing I just measure by hand so the two sides are equal I could attach in some places with markers in some certain uh, spots so I'm sure what to do and start sewing and in any method you want I 
I'm just taking a piece of each side. My pattern is lazy so I cannot find an easy um, place to put my needle and I uh, normally insert my needle in the very edge uh, stitches. And I am going to sew till the bottom. Be sure that because it's a lacy pattern, uh, your seaming is not going to um, to leave a trace. So I'm taking. Uh, a part of one side and then a part of the other side thank you very much for watching my videos and uh, purchasing my patterns on my Etsy store and on love uh, crochet store and um, I know uh, I want you to know that this is very important for me you are helping me in many ways giving me your opinion about um, the patterns uh, or um, leaving a comment with a suggestion this is a help for me on what to, to do uh, as a next uh, design So we have come to the end of our sewing. And be a little patient at the end to form a straight line there. and secure your uh, yarn and you can weave your end now from the uh, inner part let's say the uh, wrong side of our uh, piece This is the shawl, it's a simple uh, rectangle piece, uh, I, you can make it um, a little bit wider if you want and uh, of course you can make it longer, I just um, made it for a summer uh, outfit so I prefer it in this lacy and um, thin yarn to be a light um, a, a light wrap all around our shoulders the opening the neckline opening is wide enough so you can leave one shoulder off and you can wear it this way having the corner uh, this triangle on one uh, arm or you can wear it this way leaving the corner in the front so a v, a v neckline shape is shaped uh, in front or you can wear it uh, the opposite way you can wear it this way so the corner um, the triangle is to the back and in front of you stands the um, straight part of the show again i want to thank you very much uh, for your feedback and um, to make me feel better you can uh, um, do a uh, leave a comment on, or share uh, on the youtube my videos this is the a great support for me thank you very much crochet and be happy